All right, welcome back everyone. And in this video, we're gonna do a little bit of updating, tell you what's going on out there in AI detection. Now, in a few weeks since I had posted that video that pretty much made this channel take off, which was talking about how to bypass AI detectors, a lot of things have happened. Number one, uh, Google has come out and said that they're not gonna punish AI content. We don't know if that's true, but it looks like right now they're not. So we'll have to kind of monitor that and see how it goes. There have also been a lot of different upgrades to AI detection softwares based upon probably the virality of the video that I had put out along with others. So these content uh, detectors have upgraded and they've done some additional work. One in particular that I had referenced before that I still use is originality.ai. It detects uh, plagiarism and also AI uh, detection. So what they've done is they just released an update as of today, you could see March 2nd that it does a couple of interesting new things. So number one, it actually highlights the text that it is most confident is AI, but also gives it a rating. So they use what's called a heat map here, and that is gonna show the confidence that that content is AI based. So this is gonna be helpful in particular, uh, they say that they look at the entire article to guesstimate the confidence of uh, it being AI driven content. But of course, those of us now who are kind of like uh, using some a mixture of handwritten content and AI content, this may be useful because you'll be able to see which sections of it are likely to be AI written that can be detected. So useful tool here. So I'm gonna show you how this works. This is kind of my first uh, go at it. I did tinker with it a little bit earlier, but I'm gonna make a video on it now to show you how it works. So what I did is I took a article that I had written here previously, just 250 words on ChatGPT and the real estate industry. This article was 100% AI detectable. Uh, so what I did is I ran it through one of these prompts. Uh, I'll go to this real quick. I think it was, uh, it was down here. Try to pass AI detection tools test. And I just dropped the content in there and then we get this version. So I just wanted to see if I can mix it up a little bit here and see if it'll get a little bit more humanized content, but it may not but just for the purpose of this test, we'll do that. So we're gonna come over here to originality.ai and we can put the title in there, but let's just go ahead and drop this in. So we have our content in there. Now, of course we could check plagiarism as well. Use those extra credits, I tend not to do that. Uh, so we're just gonna use detect AI. This is a small article in 250 words, just enough for a test. Obviously you'd be doing more than that. So we're gonna go ahead and scan it. Now, like I said previously, this you did a 100% AI. Now it's about 14% uh, original, 86% AI. But the important part is looking at the heat map highlighting. So we could see that there's far more confidence in the lower section here because that's red, that this is AI-based content and more original, uh, less confidence obviously going into this yellow section. So. Obviously, if you have a much longer article that would be like a thousand words or whatever, you're going to get much more interesting results. Also, depending upon the techniques that you have used to make the content look original. Obviously, if you manually wrote it, this is going to look even more different. But it now gives us an idea of where we need to look for bypassing AI detection in terms of how this content was written. So you can take sections of it and run it through, for example, in ChatGPT, some of those additional filters that, uh, for example, purport to say that it will allow you to human rewrite and so forth. And you can tinker with that to see how that works for your content. But um, this is a really good, interesting update. And um, I think this is gonna drive a lot of the direction of where these AI content detectors are going and also helping with the process of humanizing things and also helping us understand the algorithms. But for the most part, changing sentence lengths, adding synonyms, and making some usual human mistakes seem to be the things that make the biggest difference on the originality score. Uh, AI writes in a formulaic way, and I think that's really easy to detect. So now the softwares are have to keep upgrading here in this fashion to deal with content that is mixed with both, hu with both human content and AI content. So as usual, uh, I'll drop a link to originality.ai uh, below, a link to that, please use that. If you're gonna use the software, give it a shot, check out this new tool, 
And uh, of course, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, post any comments below. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.